On this episode of Cox Connections, nothing is more important to a region's economic vitality than a highly skilled workforce. Find out how Peninsula WorkLink is helping both career seekers and businesses today. Also, in this age of high tech, we are fortunate to have our Commonwealth trailblazing technology in the areas of cybersecurity, education, and innovation. We'll learn about this today. And childhood obesity is a serious health problem in our country, affecting 18% of our children. We'll learn about one local organization that is stepping up to meet this challenge today. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs and our rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. Peninsula WorkLink's One Stop Workforce Center is an employment resource venue for Hampton Roads residents and businesses. This clearinghouse for job seekers and employers offers a wide range of training and career services and specializes in matching area businesses with workers and job seekers. Here to tell us more about One Stop Program is manager Lisa Z. Lisa, welcome to the show. Thank you, Emma, for having me. So tell us more about Peninsula WorkLink and the One Stop Program. Peninsula WorkLink is the trade name under Department of Labor's One Stop Initiative and our board is Peninsula Council for Workforce Development. We serve seven cities and counties for the greater peninsula. We partner with Virginia Employment Commission, the community colleges, uh, small business development, rapid response, New Horizons. We partner with a lot of different community partners. It's incredible. So we're an extension of the human resource arms for a lot of businesses in the area. So helping to match job seekers with job roles in Absolutely. area businesses. That's great. Um, and so uh, the program sounds very comprehensive. How, how really do you make those matches? It sounds a little cumbersome, but it's very streamlined and we have funding. So we cover occupational training for individuals who are eligible and suitable. Uh, unlimited type of training opportunities with different vendors. And we also now under the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, all of the registered apprenticeship employers in our area and across the Commonwealth are considered vendors. So we can actually send someone to a, a business for training now, which is amazing. But we, we, our clusters are advanced manufacturing, healthcare, professional construction, hospitality. So we try to focus on the in-demand fields. And is it, you know, you think about workforce and you think you're serving probably unemployed and underemployed, but really the job seekers that you work with are much more varied than that, right? They are. They do vary. I'm glad you mentioned that. We've worked with the bases on downsizing. We work with rapid response. You'll see a lot of the federal contractors in the whole greater Hampton Roads area that are being affected right now. We're working with all of them. And we connect employers that are seeking the talent that is being affected so we can do a rapid um, re-employment immediately with our rapid response partners. So when somebody who is a job seeker walks through, or a career seeker, I mm -hmm. should say, walks through your doors, tell us a little bit about what they'll experience. Okay, that's a good question. We have a new self-assessment form. It's two-sided. It's very simple. It's basically helping us understand how they found out about us what they would like us to help them with. If it's employment, they go through the career services on our front end. If they need training and they're deemed eligible and suitable, they work with our career planners on the back end. So there's two tiers of services now under the new law, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, career services and training services. So we try to ask them, are you looking for advanced manufacturing? Are you looking for health care? Do you need employment immediately? How can we best help you? Do, would you like to earn a credential, a certificate, a portable national credential? Would you like to be a registered apprentice? And so you're working with businesses who are here um, on the peninsula, but I understand you also are working with um, folks who are looking for job seekers in a variety of ways. So um, national firms, 
We do. We actually had a great U.S. Chamber of Commerce um, hiring event a couple of years ago, and we brought in all these employers from about seven different states, which is amazing. And right now, with the changes with the government and kind of downsizing on our military, we're seeing more and more um, businesses and employers from outside the Commonwealth coming into the Hampton Roads market looking for talent because we're a military-rich environment, as you know. Great so, skill set in our workforce yes, here. Yes. And so businesses who work with you, what what can they expect? How do they partner with you? That's a good question. We can help them with no cost. Uh, everything that we do is no cost. I should clarify that. That's and terrific. Yeah, it is. Department of Labor funding, so it's wonderful. But we help with many recruitments. We help with pre-screening. We help with assessments. We help with occupational training. So, and with tax credits, we help the employers understand the benefits of the work opportunity tax credits. Um, on the job training is a huge initiative right now where we reimburse the employer up to a certain amount based on the person's um, skill and what kind of skill gap they may have. So the employers are, and the businesses are being paid back for bringing people on board and training them. It's incredible. So definitely a win-win for both the career seeker and the business. Beautiful. Love it. What trends have you seen lately in our region? Oh, well, there is that middle skills gap that everybody's talking about across the nation, but actually we're, our unemployment has really dropped. I think the governor sent out an announcement in September, we're running about 4.3% unemployment. So at that point, it's definitely difficult for our businesses to obtain talent. So we're really trying our hardest to partner with everybody in the region, whether it's all the way up to Richmond or DC, to cast the nets further and wider for the businesses so they have larger talent pools to, to pull from. And how do businesses and career seekers find out about you and your organization and the services that you provide? That's the million dollar question. So um, we do have a website, which is pcfwd.org. But in general, Virginia has a new brand, and it's called Elevate Virginia. So if you're looking for a one-stop or a workforce development board or some kind of workforce development services across the Commonwealth and other areas, you go to elevate.org, elevatevirginia.org. And that kind of helps you with military services, services for individuals with disabilities. Um, everything's on that one website. You'll see the governor as soon as you come on. So, so easy to find information, easy to access the services. Yes, but we are kind of a hidden secret. So if there is a business that would like to connect with a workforce development Development Board or a One Stop, we'd love to hear from you, love to help you. If there's a career seeker, please come in and see us. We also have 32 community partners out there in the market in our seven cities and counties, and they're faith-based, they're libraries, they're areas right there in the community where they can get the career services before they come to our site in Hampton. So that's a benefit as well. Sounds terrific. Lisa, thank you so much for being here thank you, and Emma. talking with us about WorkLink today. Thank you, Emma. Thank it's you. Been great. Coming up, from using credit cards to wondering if a drone is in the sky overhead, technology is everywhere. The Commonwealth of Virginia is leading the charge on technology, cybersecurity, and innovation. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.